S A I M or visit unsungcruise.com. What up, Garrett? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. All right, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore. I am hoping that I'm just dreaming, honey, for what's going on with this young lady, because I tell you, that husband of hers, he is just really putting her through. Now, last night on the show, I mean. We're going to call him Breakfast Eddie. Breakfast Eddie, yes. I mean, Eva, what is really, what's happening with that child? Well, well, what did you see, Gary? I saw the way he talked to her so bad and then the way he put out the press. He said, y'all, that he made a remark. They asked him about his marriage, and they said he flat out said that he hates it. He hates it. And then he also went on to say, you know, when he treated her at that event, honey, you know, when he was trying to talk to her, he didn't give her no props. He didn't do nothing for Kenya. He said, first of all, that the show and all this is just too in, um, in, in, invasive. Well, he knew that when he got on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it Kenya no did a lot for that charity event. She invited yeah. all of us there. She used her own connections, caterers, everything. She was very instrumental. For her, him not to thank her was very hurtful. Oh my God! I said this it hurt my real. feelings too. I'm, I, yes, I, yeah. I lost sleep. And and Kenya has kind of been a, a villain on the show, and a lot of people uh, wasn't crazy about it. But the way he treats her make me feel bad for her. Yeah. And and I just don't think it, it's cool. I mean, she really tries to be different for him, and she tries to yeah. you know uh, deal with her attitude. And you and notice stuff, that, Brett? Yeah. It's it's almost like uh, she she's trying really hard, and he's still kicking her while she's yes. down. Like, and I hate that. I, mean, I don't I don't like that. That's not fair to any woman to get treated like that. No, it don't even look good. I mean, my God, it can't feel good. No. It can. Mean, so. And you hit it on the head, Brad. I think she played the villain for so long that people like kind of relish in this that she's going through, like as if she deserves it or not. No one deserves this. Absolutely. And people not. don't really know how to separate too from like the key word you said, um, um, Eva played. Exactly. She's playing, honey. This girl getting her check like every damn body else is. Wow. So, honey, so that's what she gotta do. But nevertheless, honey, I just oh bless her spirit, honey. Oh, no. I'm glad they are allegedly divorcing or divorced or whatever. She just need to move on. Well, she and let get him love from us. Over here at the Ricky Smiley morning. Yes, okay. Absolutely. He yes. just act like he don't like her. I know. Right. Oh, he don't like women, period, the way I gather. Ooh. Hell, that's my Ooh. take on it. Uh-oh. So, Uh-oh, I mean, it's just too much. Too. Well, honey, you just too guinea guinea up in all these other men face. But hell, when it comes to Kenya and stuff, the way you treat her, hell, uh, like she's a damn stepchild. You got a point. So, uh uh-uh. uh. But anyway, child, moving on. Another celebrity news, y'all. Okay, now, Wendy Williams. Now, we all know Wendy and her husband divorced, honey. Yes. So people are talking about Wendy. They say, Miss Wendy, take a dig at her husband every time she can, honey, <laughs> on that dog show. They say, the way she does it, they say, if you watch the credits, honey, when it go off the show, where his name used to be at Kevin, honey, she got just Wendy. <laughs> ah, yes, like she oh, got wow. just Wendy, like baby. All about, her losses, baby. all about her losses. I was like, all right, Miss Williams, honey. She put just Wendy. Uh-huh. So she did that. And, you know, people still talking about, you know, she may be involved in a relationship, but she said she's not involved with um, the jeweler Will the Boss, and she's also not involved with Robin Crawford. And I, oh, wow. Yeah, they were saying she was involved with Robin. Yeah, they said she's involved with Robin. So. So she said, that's not so, so, honey. Congratulations to Wendy. And she got herself together and do what she can. In my final story, y'all, Cheryl Underwood. Now, a lot of people trying to give Cheryl Underwood some flack because Marie Osmond, now, Ricky, hear this. Marie Osmond said on the show the other day, she said when she died, she ain't leaving her damn children not nap penny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nothing. So, honey, now, Kirk Douglas recently died, and he left all his millions of dollars to um, his charity. Right. And, honey, and, and, um, and um, Cheryl said, well, that's not right. You should leave your kids money or whatever, you know, because I guess when you grew up poor or whatever and they didn't have anything, you know, you should kind of leave them something. But, baby, these and, um, Sharon Osborne said, honey, yes, she should leave the kids something. Something. Yeah, but, honey, Miss Marie said, uh-uh. Rika, are you leaving your kids anything? Oh, uh, the ones that deserve it. Hello? Yeah, if you out here ain't doing right, ain't taking care of your business, I'm not giving you money to go out and... Uh, and Mess just do up. whatever when, when right. I could be educating and helping somebody else. And uh, and my kids understand that they are not entitled, entitled. to anything. Amen. They're not entitled to anything now. They don't write no jokes and they don't get up and do radio <laughs> and anything. that My son never asked me for money. They said, Dad, do you have any work for me? That's right. I said, yeah, I have work for you. I got stuff to do around the yard and or go uh, get the car washed or go get the oil changed. I give them something to do or whatever, let them earn the money. They never, ever, ever ask for money. Now, I give my youngest daughter something to go to CV, I mean, uh, go to Walgreens and get her little personal items and stuff like that. You know, other than that, my daughter deliver, my other daughter deliver food in Nashville. So, you know, she's in college, she deliver food. Everybody work hard for what they get. I don't give them nothing. All right. You yeah, entitlement is a big problem. Yes.
Yes, I'm adoptable though. But anyway, that the cool corona day is cayenne. I'm on the hand, you say cayenne, and on the Lord say green blue. Ricky, nothing. Not a, I'm not, not leaving a you penny. nothing. Oh yeah, you switch, you switches, you switches it up. It just depends on what year it is with you. Oh, yeah, one year you speaking, we buddy buddy going to the mall. The oh. next minute you don't have time for folks. I don't oh, know. oh, yeah, All right now. You, we'll talk off the you air. You done pulled, you done pulled the J on me. Okay, oh, 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 don't say that, Ricky. Oh, oh yeah, no, you done pulled the J that. on me. Oh, oh yeah, go to commercial, go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs>